I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Kurt Nielsen, the president of the Bartesia Blockchain Foundation. Kurt, welcome to the show. I'm excited for our discussion and it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you. For, thank you. So let's kick off our discussion with a little bit of background on yourself, uh, your role in the company and, and you know, how that really led to you getting involved in the blockchain industry with Partesia. Okay, yes, sure. So, so my background is a bit of a uh, mix of a, uh, me as an entrepreneur and a researcher. So my background is that I specialized in market design and design of information and data solutions and business development uh, using advanced uh, cryptography. So for the past 15 years, I've been collaborating with experts in distributed cryptography and uh, co-founded a number of uh, companies, uh, including uh, Patricia, which was actually back in 2008, a pioneer in privacy preserving computation, uh, and Sepia, uh, who's a pioneer in key management, also using distributed cryptography. So, so Patricia, you can, that's where the name from, for, come from, for Patricia Blockchain. Patricia Blockchain is only uh, two months uh, old. So, mm -hmm. uh, but this is basically brings together all this knowledge and the, the developer teams from these uh, two companies, uh, Patricia and, and Sepia. But there's a lot. So the story with the background story is uh, it's much longer. So if you have time, uh, just to make it short, uh, I was actually working on, on a PhD in, in market design when I heard about Ivan Danko, who is uh, famous for his work on on uh, multi-party computation, which is mm -hmm. a also in short MPC, which is a, another distributed cryptography, which has some similarities to, to blockchain. And uh, I found out that this was, this was a perfect solution to a, uh, a common problem in economics where you need a trustee to handle your private information in order to find the, the right solutions. So that goes for, for market solution, that goes for data solution. It's very, very broad. And it, it was a bit the beginning of a uh, fundraising for a landmark uh, uh, research and development project that uh, resulted in the, the uh, first use of MPC in a commercial uh, setting. And this landmark uh, achievement was also the starting point for, for Patricia. Hmm. So, so that is basically where we started and, and the team uh, that we are bringing to Patricia blockchain is is the one that we have built up uh, through these uh, the past 10 years. So it's consisting of experts mm -hmm. like like even Damgo, who's not just known for, for MPC, but also for uh, Mer the Merkle Damgo uh, has function that mm -hmm. people might know. Uh, and he even co constructed or was co-founder of one of the first commercial uh, crypto companies uh, in the world, Cryptomatic, uh, back in the mm -hmm. 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and now part of the uh, chief cryptographer in the Patricia blockchain team, together with uh, Jesper Buchs Nielsen, who is uh, one of the most quoted uh, researchers in this uh, field of, of MPC, and uh, Claudio Lando, who is also known for, her, for his work on, on protocols. And these three is working door to door with the uh, two developer teams that have been building these uh, commercial use of or, or commercial graded. Uh, MPC and, and blockchain applications for, for, for quite some, some time. So this is the, the team and, and where we come from. Mm -hmm. That's great, Kurt. And that's quite the history uh, being, you know, having this technology and now only recently here, really combining it all together uh, for mm. the T Partesia blockchain. Can, can you, now that you have this new project on the go and you're really focusing on combining this all together for enterprise and commercial, can you just give an overview of, you know, what are the current goals for Partesia blockchain? Yeah, uh, thank you for the question. So, so, so if we look at blockchains, this has this great potential of uh, disrupting, of a disrupting platform, a web tree that old platform. But if we still rely on, on single point of trust when it comes to handling uh, private information, uh, we don't believe that this disruption would have a, this, the, the big potential uh, impact so what we really need is to fix this, and that is basically what we are aiming for, uh, no less. Uh, so, so Patricia blockchain is this uh, Web 3.0 public blockchain built for trust, transparency, and privacy, and um, and it's 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 a more uh, complete sort of decentralized uh, platform that uh, allows for a new sort of emerging uh, 
set of applications that is utilizing private data mm -hmm. and uh, and really creating disruption by taking back, sort of handling the core problem of handling uh, the private information and, and not just uh, uh, not just uh, sim simple operation, but generic use of, of, of private uh, information. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. And you mentioned that you have history in distributed cryptography, and now the Partesia blockchain is integrating MPC, multi-party computation, for this security and privacy. Can, can you explain, is distributed cryptography different than MPC, and are these two technologies something that hasn't been involved in blockchain at all before? Yeah, so I'm talking about distributed uh, cryptography, which would c cover both blockchain technologies mm. and, and okay. MPC and, and other types of uh, uh, cryptography where you, where you distribute the, uh, the system in, in order to get this uh, property of no single point of trust. So you, so you want to have this uh, blockchain uh, properties, both in, in terms of uh, of having immutable data, but also having uh, also to handle uh, uh, private uh, data, and so 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 it is that we what we do here with this infrastructure is that we are building this for for privacy, obviously, mm -hmm. and 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 also for interoperability, because that's kind of so we want to have or what we do is that we have a a, a system a infrastructure that comes in and, and match the existing. Uh, technology of the blockchain and uh, allow us to collaborate uh, with the existing uh, uh, blockchain solutions. Mm -hmm. And we have done a number of things in, in the way we constructed the Patricia blockchain in order to exactly to, to facilitate for this. So one thing is to, to provide generic privacy computation, which is what we have been doing for, for, for the past decade uh, and any uh, longer. Another thing is to, to, to not come and, and introduce a, a new uh, coin uh, to the industry, but allow for, for all existing liquid coins to come in and, and be used as means of payment on this. And that we can use by, by this privacy uh, technology where you can manage private key, you can handle them, you can even create private keys. Uh, and that allows us to, to do uh, all types of uh, collaborative services with existing uh, blockchain uh, solutions. Hmm. That's great. And I was researching into Partesia. I see that right now you're in the testnet phase and you mentioned you've been working on it for a little bit of time now. Can, can hmm. you talk about what has been the most challenging part of this phase and you know what are the next steps in terms of launching the mainnet? Yes, so so we have been uh, so I think in two words by the launch of Ethereum, I think that that's where we started to think about how we could actually combine uh, MPC and, and then blockchain technologies. Because from from the outside, it looks like a like a perfect match. You have the transparency uh, with the uh, with the blockchain, and you have the handling of the confidential information with the distribute uh, with MPC. And both of these technologies are distributed, so, so mm -hmm. they, there seems to be a lot of complement, complementarities. So we started to think about this, and we was approached by uh, a number of companies uh, doing the, the, the hype in, in 2017 and started to build solutions for, for data exchanges and also for financial order matching. Uh, and that was sort of the the starting point. That was yeah in the beginning of 2017, and uh, this sort of led stepwise to a complete sort of blockchain uh, infrastructure that has uh, MPC as its its as its core as in the core uh, of the technology. Uh, so so that was the uh, starting point, and uh, we had the first full version in 2019, mm -hmm. September 2019 commercial great solution that we uh, we were at that time uh, selling to uh, to people who was building applications on top of this hmm. data solutions and, and auction solutions and then we have been working with regulators in order to, to bring this to the blockchain community uh, in a sound way and, and that's what we have been succeeded with uh, recently and uh, the, the entire background for the creation of the Patricia uh, blockchain so, so we have the testnet, and it's sort of uh, uh, building on this uh, already commercial grade basic version 1.0. But, but so, so now we just 
or not just, but now we need to, to build these uh, uh, governance system into this mm -hmm. in order for this to, to function as a uh, Web 3.0 or a blockchain uh, system, a decentralized government uh, system. Definitely. And I also read that your team recently closed uh, $2.6 million in private funding. Congratulations on that. That's quite the achievement. Uh, you know, with that raise now finished and you're focusing on development, what, what are the main focuses on, you know, making sure you manage and use the capital? Is it mainly just developing and getting to the main net is the main focus? And are there other things as well? Yes, so so this was a, a, a great start. So as I, as I mentioned, we are only a, a two two months old <laughs> as a as a foundation. So so this sort of gave us a head start, and and we had the opportunity to 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 do exactly what we're planning to do. So and the plan is to to raise a, a lot more uh, funding for this project, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we that's what we are, we are doing. We we are developing uh, at full speed, and. Uh, continuing the uh, develop or the inclusion of uh, more contributors uh, especially people who, are, who can see the uh, an idea in in running the the nodes in a in a network like this and and building applications that can utilize the privacy and mm -hmm. the interoperability that that we offer mm -hmm. so that that engagement of of uh, large strategic partners will also guide our um, strategic focus and we we use the, the test testnet uh, in order to 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 do this. So uh, that will be a very sort of strategic where we uh, a strategic focus for us to to bring in the uh, the latest uh, development uh, at an early stage and uh, to to test the the uh, the value of the different applications. And then we are working towards uh, mainnet and. Um, but and, and we're still we're still sort of keeping the uh, the exact uh, uh, date for when we are launching. Uh, so, so and mm -hmm. keep that for a up for a discussion with the uh, with the partners that we'll include uh, during the next uh, uh, months. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. So, <clears throat> now, I know you're fairly early on, and once the platform launches, there's a lot more work to be done. In terms of the long-term success of Partesia, what do you think would be one of the ma major key success factors into achieving long-term success? Yes, so so, um, so the next half a year of, of work will probably determine the, <laughs> the success of this uh, project in order for us to succeed in, in including the right partners and mm -hmm. getting a, a head start in, in building this, uh, this network. Uh, so, so, so that's what we are prioritizing uh, to to get the right partners uh, included, and to to focus on the the right applications. So, so we we believe that we are contributing to the uh, to the basic technology in the uh, blockchain ecosystem. Uh, but but at the end of the day, all the value is created by applications. So mm -hmm. it's uh, of course highly important for us to to move into the right uh, applications. And but I think we have a good sort of starting point for this because this is basically what we have been been doing with with partners uh, for for the past uh, ten years, building solutions for organizing citizens to to use this technology to to do uh, to both give sort of decentralized control and privacy and also at the same time allow people to bring data together in order to create value, which mm -hmm. seems to be like contradicting but but that's exactly what this technology can can do and also these other types of applications where you have competing uh, companies uh, collaborating i think it, just to mention one is uh, fraud detection financial fraud detection mm -hmm. where you have a, in the traditional uh, financial system you you uh, you everything is cooked down to uh, tr uh, transactions between senders and receivers between two banks uh, so, but they are not allowed to share uh, uh, enough information so due to competition uh, constraints or regulation, as well as the data regulation. So that prevent them from from detecting uh, fraud. But mm -hmm. that's exactly what we can do with with MPC. We can allow these competing companies to share more information to 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 do a better assessment on on the individual uh, transaction. And then combine them and 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 create these fraud patterns that, at the end of the day, uh, reveal uh, 
uh, financial fraud. Mm-hmm. So just one example of, of how this technology can open up for, for new types of uh, collaborations that solve uh, real problems. Definitely, and fraud is a major issue, continues to grow with all the people jumping online right now as well. So that's definitely a key point to focus on. Now we're running short on time, Kurt, for our interview, but if there are viewers or developers or investors or anybody else who's interested in following along with the progress of Partesia and and watching for the mainnet launch, what's the best way for them to get involved with the community and to learn more? Yes, so so we have a homepage, uh, partesiablockchain.com, and we are on the various social networks and uh, we also have a, a the first post on uh, Medium. We have a Medium account where we'll mm-hmm. keep on posting, and you'll have you'll see uh, uh, even Damco and yes, Papoose Nielsen and uh, talking about the technology and how we how we combine the technology and blockchain, etc. Uh, so that's that's the place to go uh, to to know more about the uh, the project. Sounds great. I will leave those links in the description box below for the viewers. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. All the best with Partesia moving forward, and let's follow up in the near future. Likewise. Thanks a lot for for letting me hear. Thank you.